Discovering the Horseman Within with Ken McNabb has been brought to you by Weaver Leather. You know people who are humble. You can think of people who, when you hear the word humble, instantly come to your mind. Humility is having an accurate opinion of yourself. In other words, you don't think too much of yourself. You don't think too highly of yourself. It's not meaning that you have poor self-esteem. Poor self-esteem and, and humility don't go hand in hand. In fact, frequently poor self-esteem and arrogance go hand in hand. Humility is being quietly confident in your ability, quietly confident in who you are. When I think of humility, I think of a horse frequently. There's actually almost nothing on earth more humble than a horse. This horse is way faster than I am, way stronger than I am, way more powerful than I am. And yet it submits itself to my will, making it humble. Another great example of humility is Christ. The vision, the picture of Christ on the cross is humble in itself. But he took it one step further as he hung on the cross. He looked at all of those below him, the Roman soldiers, everybody there below him. And then he said this line, Father, forgive them for they know not what they've done. That's the absolute epitome of humility. He knew who he was. He knew what he w was doing for the entire world. And yet at that moment in time, he chose to ask God's forgiveness for everybody for the sins that they would commit out of humility. He didn't say, look at the injustice that's been served to me. Look how I've been treated. I'm better than this. No, he said, actually, I know who I am. And because I know who I am, I choose to ask for your forgiveness. That's humility.